Um, Gators are heading to Omaha. Uh, big win over South Carolina, uh, five to four and four to nothing this weekend. Give us the quick update on the Gators baseball team. Yeah. Whew. Um, so Florida, after uh, sc- scraping, clawing, scratching uh, their way through the regional, um, they get matched up with South Carolina, a team who had swept Florida earlier in the year. You know, as I previewed it, um, heading up into the week, South Carolina played a lot better at home. When Florida lost to them at that point of the year, I think they were like 22 and one at home. Um, and Florida just uh, both teams were different uh, as they came down in the stretch here. I like Florida in any three game series uh, with Brandon Sproat, Hurston Waldrip, and, and Jack Caglione. I think Florida has a good chance to win any three game series. Um, they lost, they had 16 weekend three game series uh, this year, and they went 14 and two in those. So, th- with the way that their pitching sets up, they're built for a three game series, and, and it was a whole different ball game um, in Gainesville than it was in Columbia. Brandon Sproat was really good. Um, on Friday night, and then Hurston Waldrop, uh, when Florida lost last year to Oklahoma, um, I think they knew who was going to be coming back and how good this team could be. And getting a pitcher like Hurston Waldrop, who's going to be a first-round pick, potentially a top 15, 20 pick in the MLB draft next month, um, when they saw him available, uh, I think Florida looked around and said, if this kid is on our team, we go from good to great and, and have the potential to do that. It didn't help Silk. This is this is a great recruiting story. It doesn't hurt that Hurston Waldrop was pitching for the USA Collegiate National Team. Wyatt Langford was on the team, teammate, uh, and Kevin O'Sullivan was the pitching coach oh, for tampering. that team. So it didn't, no good. tampering, no tampering. Uh, it was in the Relation. portal. Bef- was in the portal before that trip, uh, two days before. Hmm. But Florida was on the phone, and then all of a sudden, ah. Just a coach and player interaction. Certainly no recruiting going on. Just that's what I like to pitches. see on my coaches, Nick. <clears throat> um, but yeah, uh, Hurston Waldrip, um, he'd kind of been up and down and shaky at points. And I mean, I say up and down, he was like eight and two. Um, but uh, some shaky starts, and in, in he's absolutely shoved um, in the NCAA tournament. It'll be interesting to see um, if his old team, Southern Miss, can take care of Tennessee on this beautiful Monday. Um, and then maybe get a matchup of Hurston and uh, the Southern Miss Golden Eagles, which is a school he came from uh, in Omaha. So hmm. Florida, Florida looks like they're playing their best baseball. And, and as you look, the uh, Omaha is a double elimination tournament. If Florida wins the first three games, then they automatically go into the College World Series final. And that's what I was just talking about. The College World Series final is a three game best of three series. Uh, and so if Florida can get to that with their pitching rotation set up again with Sprout, Waldrop, Cags. I like Florida in any three game series. So mm. I pulled up a uh, a picture here. Let me see if I can put it on YouTube a little bit better uh, for everybody to see here. And it looks at the Gators uh, pitching, starting pitching yeah. uh, over the last uh, two series in the regionals. Uh, outside of that Brandon Sprout game against Texas Tech where he threw for six innings, gave up three runs, three hits, um, he did the same thing against South Carolina. Other than that, the Gators starting pitching has only let up two runs uh, mm-hmm. in the other uh, five games that they've had. Uh, Caglione, uh, zero runs, uh, only four hits in the first game. Waldrop, uh, one hit – or one run, pardon me, five hits. Uh, Cade Fisher against Texas Tech, one run, five hits. Uh, and then Hurston Waldrop, obviously, uh, in the second game goes eight or eight runs or pardon me, eight innings, zero runs, only three hits, 13 Ks. Um, but Hurston Waldrop, just incredible performance, 15 combined innings between the regional and super regional, only one run, eight total hits, 25 strikeouts, only four base on ball. So, uh, really incredible, uh, Starting pitching output by the Gators, and and obviously the bats are are starting to hit a little bit uh, as well. That was a fun game to watch on uh, on Friday night as well. Yeah, I mean this team's really good. Um, they've been really good all season, um, despite firing uh, most of the coaching staff at various points of the year. Um, scholarships have been revoked. Uh, players have been kicked off the team. So congratulations to all the guys who've refound their scholarships. 
uh, and to Kevin O'Sullivan, who uh, was rehired recently um, by Twitter. I thought I was having a real life. I was like, what the hell did I miss? I ain't <laughs> there's losing. No, no, no. It's just the internet firing people. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just, I, I, just I, the... I didn't joke at the end, but at first, man, good yeah. delivery, Nick, because you had me for a second. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just a great story. You know, uh, everyone was fired after Florida was swept by South Carolina. Uh, so it's just a, a really great redemption story here. Silk. Uh, Sounds about Gator. I think two, uh, I think we owe a lot of I think we owe a lot of this to Coral Springs High School legend David Kopp. A hundred percent. Couldn't do it without Coral Springs High School. Can't, you got to be the greatest of all time out of that high school. We have very few <laughs> things as a high school to be proud of. Right. So mm-hmm. we'll we'll take it. We'll take I it. Damn uh, him. <laughs> there's there's 299 Division One baseball teams, um, and only eight are still playing baseball. So the Gators will take on uh, in their bracket. They have Virginia, who Nick said that they will play on Friday. Oral Roberts University, uh, who is a four seed entering uh, the regionals. Uh, mm-hmm. They, uh, I thought they were going to blow it. Nick um, has an have an 8-0 lead against Oregon. Uh, in game one, blew that lead, but then they end up taking the next two games, so Oral Roberts and then TCU. Uh, so uh, that will be starting this Friday and hopefully lead right up into just a few days before Nick's wedding. Hopefully he can sweat a little bit. Uh, hopefully there's no none of those Midwestern storms that get a delayed flight or anything out to get a uh, the wrath of Lauren. Uh, but uh, Nick, enjoy Omaha. Um, I don't. I, 